I thought I had a silver then. It was a jumpy high tone and that's why it's a, a button. So it was given a high tone for the silver plate or silver gilt. And then for the copper underneath. And there we go. And there's the next find. You can see the impression there? The impression's better than the coin. Well, there we go. George the Six. Well, I don't think it's George the Six anyway. Yeah. Not in great condition, but it's a coin to start. And how's that for a, a beautiful button? That's a high status button, that is. Absolutely beautiful. It'll be one of the nicest buttons I've found, that. Really, really pretty. That's a cracking start, that. Fine for me is that. Let's see if it's a casket handle of a little box or something like that. It's not quite a big box or a drawer handle. So, so it's got a little bit of age to it. It's a nice thing, something a bit different. Don't mind that. Alright, next fine for me. Little pocket watch winder. And that still turns around that. Look at that. Even after all them years. Lovely little thing that. Still never found a silver or gold one. I'm sure I will do one day. It's got a pretty little design all the way around it. That's a nice little find that. Max just called me over. He's got a nice hammered half groat he thinks. Oh, to be. I don't think it hand me the seventh but I'm probably miles off. Well, that's a beauty that. So well done Mark. You've ended your bad run now. I'll just give this, it was in a little coin ball so I give it to me missus because she loves undoing them. I think we've got a hammered. Very heavily tarnished. But I'll just put you on pause and give them a little rinse off and we'll see what we got. <laughs> That's better, yeah. I can't get much off it. It's definitely hammered. But you can't see much there. So I'll we'll have to give it a proper clean when we get back. It's a bit worse for wear. Looks like a half groped size. But I couldn't care how it looks. It's still another hammered. I'm over the moon with that. Oh, this is very worn, very battered. I think it's another silver. Very tarnished, very thin. But I think it is. I have to give it a bit of a better clean so you can get anything off it, but. I'm going to say at the moment it is silver, so that'll do. That's the next find. Not great, but I can just work out. George II there. Just about. Nothing on the back, really. Reading in a 27, that. Very high. But still another old coin. find this tiny tiny little thing I have no idea what that is tiny little thing it is round like a coin it's no shank mark so it's not a button god knows it's thick so it could be a tiny little Roman maybe I don't know but there's not much detail on it here's my next find some sort of an old mount of something. Just give it a bit of a touch or something like that. I'm not sure how old that would be. Oh, well, it'd be off. But it's a cool little find, something a bit different. Oh, next find's just part of an old buckle. You can see it, they've all been uh, silver gilted that at one point. 
Only about six inches. It's not a bad little find at all, that. There's my next find, reading a solid 30. And God, that wasn't deep either. It's only about four or five inches. So that's another target I've missed. Still on the same field, trying to hunt out these deep old targets. So, just goes to show that no matter how much you do a field, you still miss things on something that size. You know? I think I need to be a bit more methodical. But there we go. That'll do. Another coin. It's really deep this as well. Right down in the bottom there. Eh? Good. 12 inches must have been. Only read in one way, 17, 18. But still another. Oh, it's blank and battered, but still another old deep coin though. Way hey, look at that. Out of a little gun. A little toy gun. Yeah. Yeah. Cool little thing that. Proper made toys they were. There we go, something a bit different. Well, I'm having a bash on uh, Neil Jones's beach to land setting, so that's my first, uh, first four targets. A little George III, I think it is anyway. Might not be, very thin. With an old coin and a couple of watch winders, so it's doing all right so far. We'll persist with it and see how we do. It's meant to go even deeper, so we'll see what we can get out. Oh, this looks silver to me. It's a bit worse for wear. You can see Victoria there. She's going to be on a sixpence. Yeah, let's just give it a little wipe off. Oh, there we go. Lovely. There we go. Queen Victoria. Little sixpence. I'll take that. 1842, I think. Happy days. That'll do. The next one's a, a Roman. Seems to be doing well on these lately. Reading 15, 16. I can just see the head there. Never any detail left on these, or not much anyway. But I'll take that. Don't mind finding them, don't find many like a lot of people do, so even being like that, still a thousands of years old, so chuffed a bit for that. <laughs> 